we've got our pan on a very low heat. Now the pan needs to be low enough heat that it doesn't sizzle. That's the key to this because otherwise the bottom of the egg and the edges will brown. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little tiny, it's like one teaspoon of butter and add it. We're gonna kind of melt it. So the butter is not sizzling. So that's really important. Like if the butter is not sizzling, you know that you're at a good low temperature. We're just gonna kind of push the butter around, coat the bottom of the pan with the butter. And once it's all melted, we're gonna add our egg. Ta-da! That's actually enough butter. Let's get rid of that. So we've got our egg, and I put it in here for a reason. Because if you want a perfect emoji egg, you have to have the yolk intact, right? So like, you know how like sometimes when you crack an egg and the yolk breaks and it gets all over the place? If you do that in the pan, it's actually fine, but you won't have your perfect emoji egg. So if you wanna make sure you have a perfect egg, crack your egg in just like a little bowl so that if it cracks, you can like, you know, save it for something else and then start with the new egg. So we're gonna add this right to the middle of the pan. And we're gonna give it a little sprinkle of salt, just a little bit, cause it's only one egg. And then we're just gonna let it sit here. And so with the really low temperature, this egg is gonna cook really slowly. Like it could take three to four minutes. So we're gonna watch it as it cooks. Okay, we're about two minutes in and you can see that the egg is coagulating. Um, it's the, the white at the very bottom is starting to cook. The yolk is still raw and the top part of the white is still raw. So that means that we're not done yet. We're about three minutes in now. You can see it's cooked some more, but if you give it a jiggle, the top is still really jiggly. Now the cool thing about this egg is it's one of those things where you can literally put on and then go about your day. You can make some coffee, you could like fry some bacon, you could chop up some herbs, whatever you want. Um, it's just gonna sit here. It's kind of hard to overcook it because it's on such a low heat. Like you literally have to like bail for like five, six, seven minutes for it to overcook. So you can go do something else and then come back. We're at four minutes in now, and you can see that it's got a lot less jiggle, but it still has jiggle. So we want to keep cooking it. One thing you can do too, if you've noticed that your egg is cooking really slowly and you want to hurry it up, if you still want your perfect emoji egg, what you can just do is cover the frying pan. Like you get like a big lid, uh, cover it, and what that'll do is it'll help contain the heat and cook the top a little bit faster. But if you're fine with like just letting it sit, like you're making a cup of coffee, like you're, you could just let it sit like this too. We're about five minutes in. And you know, the timeline may change depending on your cooktop. Uh, if your low temperature is hotter or if your low temperature is cooler than mine, like, like it could take a different amount of time depending on like your oven, on your stove. Uh, but this particular egg, you can see the white is set. It looks really good. I'm not quite happy with how raw the yolk is. So I'm gonna let it go for another minute or two. Okay, we're about six minutes in. Now, if you look at this egg, it looks really good. The white is completely set. The egg is, uh, the yolk is still runny and I think it's ready. So you can cook this to your yolk preference. You can keep cooking it longer if you like a more firm yolk. You can take it off earlier if you like a really runny yolk, but I think it's perfect just the way it is. So we're gonna pop it off. You can actually see it slides so easily in the pan. This is a great nonstick pan. I'm just gonna slide it off onto my plate. Come on, little egg. Boop, off we go. It's ready to go, like it's, already been salted. You can put a little pepper on it if you want. You can sprinkle it with some herbs. You can serve it with a side of bacon. I personally like it with um, some bread and we can check out the yolk. We can see how beautiful the yolk is right now. So if you cut the yolk, look at that. How gorgeous is that? It's like the perfect yolk. And the white is perfectly set. It's the world's perfect egg.